Hi, everybody. This is Barbara Marison from Joy and Success International, joyandsuccess.com. And I'm here today with Christian Avalos. And um, she's a fun person that we've been talking for just a few minutes. And I want her to explain what she does and how she got involved in all of this and what she's actually doing. So um, welcome, Kristen. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. So um, tell me a little bit about what you do, how you got involved in personal development. And I know you're a tapper and how you got involved in all of that. Yeah, so like I was saying, I lived in Chicago um, after college, got a job, and I was in Northwest Indiana, got a job in the city because, you know, that's what you do. You go to college, you, you get a job, and I had gotten just kind of what came up. My background is sociology, and I minored in history. I went to school up in Canada, and people ask, why did you do that? I, I did it because I wanted a new experience. I wanted to, tr to try something new. And so I had that sort of energy when I came back, and it really was just this great experience. And then I went to the corporate world after I graduated, and it looked good on, on paper. I, I went to work in this big skyscraper and the office overlooked Grant Park in Chicago. And I was lucky that is where I met my husband and we worked in the same building. So it was a lot of fun, but I, as I went to different jobs, it, it just, I always was interested in personal development. I, I would study astrology during a lot of my days at work um, just because I wasn't really doing a whole lot. And so I had to, I just was pulled. So I, I studied astrology during that time. I recorded my dreams every day in a, in a Word document. And so I was going through this growth process and I did see, gosh, I, I don't feel like I'm in the right space. I feel kind of like I'm an invisible person. And, and I just felt like I was not really passionate about what I was doing, even though I knew that I had passion for something within me. And so about four years ago, I was actually working on documentary films. And again, it was, it was an awesome experience. I got to work with um, a great film company, Cartemquin, in Chicago, and we produced a documentary film about business ethics, and, and it was a great experience, but it just, that wasn't, that wasn't my dream. Mm -hmm. So I left that, that company, and I actually, I, where I live now, I moved, I, I found a house, we, we bought the house, I quit the job and I, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. I, I don't have an income anymore, you know, just my husband's. And so that's actually what led me to tapping because I, I just knew I was gonna, I was gonna freeze and I was never gonna be able to move forward and take a risk to do something that I truly felt passionate about if I was in constant fear about money and just feeling stressed. So that was really what got me into tapping because I, I had happened upon it like most people do. And I just knew, oh my gosh, I can, I can make a living doing all those things. The personal development that I had been studying and just felt so passionate about all these years, I can actually make a living doing this. I can, I can actually put all of my effort and my, my creativity into this. And so that's what I did. And tapping definitely helped with that, that process. And it's, I love sharing it with people. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I do group workshops. I have an online course but I'm just constantly learning and I love to teach. Um, so it's, it's really been sort of a, a gift to be able to finally feel like I have something that I can really get behind and feel yeah. good about. It's great because so many people do things that they don't like 
And um, it's great that you found this and that you're doing something that you love and, um, and make a living at it, you know, which is even better. So uh -huh. Really wonderful you did it. And I know that um, you had looked at my website and you were looking at, I don't know if you looked at anybody else, but I know you saw Julie's um, interview with me and um, she's wonderful. Um, and I think that um, I, I'm having that and having, that's how I found you, or that's how I found you was through the tapping, the tapping for miracles. And I know like um, a lot of people already do know about tapping, but can you explain to a little bit about tapping um, and on a professional level? Tapping is really a tool that is reducing stress and the whole idea, we all know that if you're in a job that you don't really like or you feel that you're doing something because of, of you have debt or you're feeling pressured by expectations, it's stressful whether you feel it or not. And so it makes a lot of sense that when we structure our whole lives in ways that don't really feel good, we're going to build up this stress and anxiety. So, so tapping, the, the way that I explain it when I talk to people, is you're reducing your, the stress within your body and you're opening yourself up to creative solutions, to using your thoughts and thinking to get you to where you want to go and to get out of that place of fear, fear of uncertainty, fear of the unknown, fear of any doubts that you have about your ability to do the things that you feel inside that you should be doing. And tapping too, I think the one piece that when I explain it to people and then they actually go through and do the tapping, you feel better instantly. And you're instantly shifting, because it, it's okay to feel scared and to feel stressed out. It's, it's natural to feel that way in, in some sense, but it's so easy to just voice it. And it's powerful when you actually voice those concerns and, and, and say it out loud. And so you really are, you're working with your body. I'm a person, I'm very much in my head, love to be there, love to just read and research and, and write. And so that moving into your body, getting present, really being in the moment and not letting your mind get the, the best of you because we know that it can do that especially the more we let it go, the more we get, we get stuck in that pattern. So it's really wiping your slate clean and giving yourself a, a jumping off point that is from a good foundation. And you're looking at situations in a way that's more grounded and you're centered and you're, you're feeling more calm about it. And, and how does, um, for, for people who don't know, like people that are tapping for to improve their finances or to lose weight or to find a relationship, how does tapping help that? Because it's uh, money's not going to drop in from the sky. Um, the doorbell's not going to ring in some, I mean, it could, but probably not. But how does it help that? Right. And that was the thing for me. It's like, well, how is it going to how is it going to work? And it really, what I found personally and through working with my clients, one, it's shifting your emotions. So you could, anytime you spend money, anytime you swipe your, your card or anytime you get a bill, you can feel a certain way. So maybe it's, you feel guilty for spending money. Maybe you feel really defeated or ashamed that you have debt. And, and so there's an emotion attached to money. And so I think that's the, the awareness that people get when they tap is that, wow, I just thought money was, was money. Or I just thought that my, my weight was because of what I ate. And that's true on some extent, 
but part of it too is if your emotions about money and a lot of people kind of have this awareness now yeah if i feel negative about money it's not gonna come to me easily so it really is about shifting your energy so that instead of feeling like gosh I, I feel so ashamed because I don't have more in savings or I have a, a, this heavy debt and I should be embarrassed by it. You're really working with your energy so that, hey, I, I now have this great idea. And before, if I had this idea, I would be too embarrassed to even say anything about it. I can't tell anyone about it. So you keep it inside. And of course, then it's, well, I'm, I'm scared. What if they say it's stupid? So there's a lot of stuff that goes into the things that we just take for granted, whether it's money, whether it's our health and our well-being. And so when we're changing how we feel about something and we're opening ourselves up to just a different perspective, that's when things can really just drop in your lap. Mm -hmm. And the example that I used in my Tapping for Miracles video, that really did happen. I was, I had been tapping for miracles. And of course, that was at the time that I had quit my job and I didn't have another job. I didn't have any sort, you know, any um, income coming in from me. And it was, I got um, a job that I had interviewed for. They, they said, no, you know, not interested. And then all of a sudden, two weeks later, out of the blue, they emailed, you know, they emailed me for, to do an interview and I ended up getting that, that job. Yeah. And um, I couldn't explain it. Of course, I only would have wanted something that was for the best, you know, for my highest good. So if I didn't get it, that was fine. But I still, I was disappointed and I really felt like that's the thing that I need to get started with my coaching career. And that's exactly what ended up happening. And I'm not sure, I, I don't know what had to happen on the other end of things to make that work, but sometimes it, it really with tapping can be as simple as it just came out of nowhere. Yeah. Or um, I had a client who they were wanting to get to sell their house, but they their house was kind of in the middle of nowhere, um, didn't think it would sell very quickly. And she told me one day, she said, someone literally knocked on our door and asked if we would ever consider putting the house on the market. Mm -hmm. And again, it was one of those things where I, we weren't trying to make that happen. We were working on the emotions around the house, around living in the house, but it just happened. And those are the types of things that I, I do see happen frequently. And that's the thing that when I tap with people and they see those results so quickly and they they know that it was something they did it was something they shifted it it just becomes a process that becomes a lot more fun and something that you can really commit yourself to because you're always seeing something different well that sounds great i think we should do a little tapping for for people out there Let's see, we could tap either on miracles or money and miracles, maybe the two of them together. Yeah, I think that would be great. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm all yours. I'll do your, your echoing and we'll just, you just um, do five, 10 minute tapping, five, just a short tapping and let's see how we can change people's lives today. Okay, so we're going to just jump right into the points. And again, a good place to start is kind of um, on a scale of one to 10, how strongly do you feel like a miracle can happen in your life? And that's something you can kind of, you know, write down or um, 
but but again, it's kind of it has to do with just rating how resistant you're feeling or maybe how cynical you're feeling or doubtful. So we have something to compare it to. Mm -hmm. I'll say I'm, I'm about a seven. Okay. And so we're going to jump in into the tapping. And again, this is for money and miracles. Okay. Sounds great. And I'm going to tap on just one side, tap on, on whatever feels good to you. Wouldn't it be nice if I could have a miracle? Wouldn't it be nice if I could have a miracle? Wouldn't it be nice if money could just appear to me? Wouldn't it be nice if money could just appear to me? Wouldn't it be nice if I got money unexpectedly? Wouldn't it be nice if I got money unexpectedly? Part of me believes that's not possible. Part of me believes that's not possible. But another, another part of me feels like, what if? Another part of me believes, what if? Wouldn't it be nice if unexpected money came to me out of nowhere? Wouldn't it be nice if unexpected money came to me out of nowhere? Wouldn't it be nice if all of a sudden my debt went away? Wouldn't it be nice if all of a sudden my debt went away? Wouldn't it be nice if I had money to do something fun? Wouldn't it be nice if I had money to do something fun? Wouldn't it be nice if I can spend money on myself for once? Wouldn't it be nice if I could spend money on myself for once? I don't even know if that's possible. I don't even know if that's possible. My mind is trying to figure it out. My mind is trying to figure it out. My mind needs to know all of the answers. My mind needs to know all of the answers. I'm trying to figure out how could this miracle be possible? I'm trying to figure out how could this miracle be possible? What if I just allowed myself to receive? What if I just allowed myself to receive? What if I just allowed myself to feel good? What if I could just allow myself to feel good? What if something amazing could happen? What if something amazing could happen? And I didn't even have to get out of my chair. And I didn't even have to get out of my chair. That would be really amazing. That would be really amazing. Because I work so hard. Because I work so hard. I am always trying to make things happen. I'm always trying to make things happen. I'm always trying to push forward. I'm always trying to push forward. And sometimes I get tired. Sometimes I get tired. I get tired from working really hard. I get tired from working really hard. Especially when I'm not seeing the results. Especially when I'm not seeing the results. Maybe there's a different way to approach this. Maybe there's a different way to approach this. Maybe things could happen a lot quicker. Maybe things could happen a lot quicker. Maybe things could happen a lot easier for me. Maybe things could happen a lot easier for me. If I just allowed myself to receive. If I just allowed myself to receive. If I just open myself up to miracles. If I just open myself up to miracles. And I just was telling everyone about the most amazing thing that happened to me. And I was telling everyone about this most amazing thing that happened to me. And I was telling them, I can't believe it. And I was telling them, I can't believe it. But I think this tapping thing had something to do with it. But I think this tapping thing had something to do with it. Something really amazing is around the corner. Something amazing is around the corner. Something really awesome is headed my way. Something really awesome is headed my way. It might be money. It might be money. It might be a chance encounter. It might be a chance encounter. It might be something that I overhear someone talk about. It might be something I overhear someone talk about. I am so excited. I am so excited. Because I just can feel it. Because I can just feel it. It's right around the corner. It's right around the corner. And it's going to fall right into my lap. And it's going to fall right into my lap. And I'm going to be telling everyone about it. And I'm going to be telling everyone about it. 
I am going to be so excited. I am going to be so excited. And I already feel it. And I already feel it. I already feel that excitement. I already feel that excitement. I already feel really good about it. I really already feel really good about it. And I'm curious. And I'm curious. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? It might look completely different than what I expected. It might look completely different from what I expected. But I am open to miracles. But I am open to miracles. Okay. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. That was great. That was like, you know, you approach it in a very different way than I've heard anyone else do. And um, I do it a lot. Uh, wouldn't it be nice if, but I don't tap. And now like you, you really showed how important that is. Mm -hmm. that, that was really fabulous. Yeah. And that is a great technique that, that I had learned from some of my teachers about, you know, sometimes we think we know what we want and that's part of just the natural resistance. I mean, as humans, we, we like to know the answers. We like to know what to expect. And a lot of the more recent tapping that I've tapping videos that I've done for this year is really about that fear of the unknown and the fear of the uncertainty, because that really is the work to do. It's natural when we, especially when life is just going along, everything is great and things change. There's any type of change or it's a change that we are deciding to make for ourselves. The first thing that starts to come in is the doubt and the fear and all those ways that we sabotage ourselves. And so a great thing to do is just clear that out. Well, wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice if I won the lottery? Wouldn't it be nice if money came in unexpectedly? And, and it has, it definitely has, has happened. And again, I, I can't explain it besides knowing that obviously what you feel and what you believe and the actions you take do make an impact in your energy. We can explain it scientifically that way but there's also that element of maybe i don't have to know everything maybe right now i i can just take a bath and relax and maybe that idea will come to me and yeah. so that's a good it, that's a good balance too is about sometimes we're so busy giving and working and and taking action that we forget like to create that space to allow things to happen for us. And I think that the wouldn't it be nice and the what if, a lot of people are saying that, but the tapping adds an extra element to it. So it's clearing out any negative thoughts that you're feeling about it. So I think that it's, it's a wonderful way to, to go about tapping and going or saying those things and um, letting them come to you and just, and then letting it go. I mean, I know that's, being able to let go. And I know the biggest um, issue I think with a lot of people who tap, including me, is that if it doesn't happen tomorrow, it, you might as well forget it. But just to keep on consistently tapping and eventually it, because um, you're clearing out a lot of old stuff. And depending on how old you are, you're, you've got um, even more stuff to clear out. So I think that was, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, well, good. And, and that too is, this is a, a good tapping if you're introducing friends or family to tapping because it's really fun. But if you felt like you had a lot of resistance or in your mind, you've just gone through so much disappointment or, you know, because that's a, a reality too. That's all part of it. And so if you're feeling a lot of resistance um, which that's a good tapping round just to boost up your energy. But if, if you wanted to do some deeper digging, then really tap on that resistance of, I have so much resistance. Nothing will ever, and, and over-exaggerate, nothing ever good will ever happen to me. I've never, and so you kind of poke fun at that cynical part of yourself. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I we love, all have that. 
I love that about tapping because like, as my audience knows and people getting, I love tapping because you're able to do that. You're able to talk very negatively and then be able to turn it around. And um, cause if you don't believe it that, and you know, anytime I start to think about things, I'm like tap, tap, like don't, <laughs> don't, don't think or say whatever you want to think or say, especially if it's negative without tapping. And that makes it a whole lot easier to do that. Um, I think that's great, and I love the the um, the one that I did one with you on on YouTube. Where can people can find you? Yeah, I have a lot of tapping videos on YouTube and meditations. I, I do a, uh, try to do a lot of meditations as well. Um, so YouTube, I think if you type in the Cosmic Priestess, you can find my videos. But I I think you'll have a link that you can share for people as well. Okay, well, we'll make sure we're putting everything on the website and on our website and so people get a link to you. Um, but Christian, that was so much fun. And well, I'm expecting, I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm expecting miracles to show up all day long. And, um, and they will. I mean, you know, big, small, medium, whatever. And I just really want to thank you for, for being here. And everybody else, um, thank you for being here. And do, do the tapping with her. And like I, I had said, I, you have to be consistent about it. You can't just do it once, you know, that might happen. Some fabulous thing will show up, but usually if you're consistent doing it, really wonderful things will show up. So I want to thank everybody for joining us. And thank you, Kristen, for being here. And uh, we'll see you next time.